Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS2605 channel. We're back with our MLB Power Pros 2008 season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So we got the last game against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim right here. Hopefully we're going to sweep them like we've sweeped every team. Now it's going to be Tim Wakefield taking the mound against uh, Mark Supin here. So we have to see how it goes. We'll throw out the first pitch. We'll do the OK Blue Jays at that point. I see, I think the Red Sox and, Ori and Yankees both won, but the Orioles lost against New York, so... Uh, I don't know if Tampa's playing today or not, but we'll have to take a look and see. Alrighty, we'll get into the game. Alrighty, it's Reed Johnson. Okay. Blue Jays. Let's play ball. Now, it seems to be good weather in the game, but it's raining like, uh... Niagara Falls over where I am in real life. Anyways, hits that first pitch to Mike Lowell. First out. Good start for Wakefield. Two, Darren, Erstad. Darren Erstad. Takes first one for strike one. Now it's going to shallow right. That'll be a base hit. Limited to a single. Man on first. One out. Mark Teixeira. He's taken off. Oh, why is he so off the pace? I can't believe that throw got there in time. It was a weak throw, too. Or at least a pitch from Wakefield, I should say. Because he seemed like where he should have been, he was way before that. Anyways, count his own one. Hit off the skinny part of the bat, right to Berkman, steps on the bag, and that's a 1-2-3 first inning for Tim Wakefield. Well, technically not, but... They throw him out stealing, but... Here we go. We're going to be starting off here. Richard Rillia leading off, 408, 434. Mark Soup on a high six. Let's see what he's got. Strike one. Strike two. Makes contact with that, fouls it off. Still a no two count to Richard Rillia. Here it comes. Gets a good piece of that. Not over the head of the first baseman. That's caught for the first out. Ray Durham, 423-1035. Takes ball one. A Fosh ball. That's... I don't see that very often. Threw it again for ball two. No win today, so... Maybe the dome's closed. Not sure. There's strike one. Just caught the strike zone for two and two. Count is now even. Hits that one hard to second base. Throws him out of first. Two outs. Berkman, 540, 40, and 99. He's one RBI away from the century mark. Takes strike one. And hits the heck out of that one. That's going well foul. I think that was safe to say that was in the strike zone anyway. Count his own two. Of course, everyone moves back for Burke Nowitzki. Takes the down curve ball for ball one. Makes solid contact there. That'll be the first base hit of the night for Toronto. Man on first, two outs. Next up is Alex Rios. 429, 24, 85. Ball one. Well, two, quick 2 -oh count. Let's keep an eye on probably the slowest runner in the starting lineup over at first base. Strike one, another Fosh ball. Hits that one hard in between first and second. That's back-to-back -back singles for Toronto. And next up, long gone Braun. 443, 49, 108. And you know he's looking for that 50. Strike one on the Fosh ball. Strike two. Questionable calls there. Makes good contact. That's into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. Bell's going to relay it. He's going to run it out. Braun makes it. A 2 nothing game off an RBI double. We're going to see the replay of that. Typically, I would keep the power swing there, but I figured an 0-2 count. Might as well just get the extra hit. And there it is all the way to the back wall. They can't relay it back in near enough time. 
There's Mike Lowell, 542, 3373. It's crazy, Rios has nine less home runs, but 12 more RBIs. All two. Oh, then again, Mike Lowell's Mr. Solo. 3 0 now. Still no win, just wait on it. And a four pitch walk. And now he's facing Luke Scott, a lefty batter. 454, 2052. And Scott crushes that one in center. Is that one going to be out of here? That was a mistake throwing it like that. It is now a 5 0 ball game. What a swing by Luke Scott. He's home running in three consecutive games now. A solo game one of the series, a solo game two, and just hit three across the plate. And in the first inning, it's already batting practice, guys. Ball one. You know, they haven't had an at-bat yet, these guys, so... We can take a power swing if you want. Quick 2-0 count again. He's pitching himself behind in counts. 3-0 now. He's certainly rattled out there. Laduka takes that, 3-1. Just hit a foul. That could have gone all the way around, but it's going to be a payoff pitch to Paulo Duca. Two out in the bottom of the first. Makes decent contact on that, and that is going to fall for another base hit. Well, Duca gets himself a single. Let's see what they're going to do now. They're keeping him in. Let's check the pitch count. Over 30 now in the first inning. Strike one to Curtis Granderson. Strike two. Now he's pitched himself into a good count. Keeping an eye over on Loduca. And Grinnison hits that right to Escobar. He's going to throw him out at first. So Jay's got all the way through the lineup there. Five for five. Very nice. Now top of the second's coming up. Wakefield's already got that insurance. Once again, Wakefield just seems to get a lot of run support. ZRA's a low four. Strike one. Game slowing down, uh, I guess match the pace of the knuckler. That one's hit just beyond short. Rich really is running it down, and he gets it for the first out. Very nice. Ryan Church, 278-937. It's interesting to see how many of these guys are on their default rosters in the National League, so they probably very seldom face Wakefield, if at all. It's a foul ball. 0-2 oh, now to Church. It's that one hard. Right to Berkman for the second out. Once again, it really uh, just lets it go by. Here, teammates against each other. Former Red Sox. Veritek against the man who called his games. The other way around, I should say. Wakefield had his games called by Veritek. Lowell. That's another three up and three down for Tim Wakefield. Wakefield pitching well so far. And the top of the second is going to be led off by the Jays lineup again. Rich Aurelia, 0 for 1 so far. So once again, we are in batting practice territory. Taking strike 1, 50-50 ball to knock our way. we got to get a hit first. Ball 1. That's a high hopper. Escobar charges. Throws it over. First out of the inning. There's Ray Durham, 0 for 1 with a grounder. It's crazy to think he got the first two batters in the inning out last time. Weak pitch, Durham swung too early. Goes for strike one. Ball one on the down curveball. 2 and 1. Three and one. Might give you one, so wait on it. Four pitch walk, Durham's on base. And now it's Berkovitsky in the batter's box. One for one tonight. And he might get that century mark on the RBIs right here, right now. Keeping an eye on Durham there. Ball one well inside. He's throwing that fosh ball a lot. I don't even know what a fosh ball is. Ball two. 
Seems to be kind of like a splitter. It's probably a combination between a splitter and a fork ball, if I'd had to guess, but don't quote me on that. Anyways, a 3-1 count. And Berkman hits that hard right to Council. Will they get in time to cover the base? They throw it over. Berkman's going to be safe at first, not by much. So it's still a man on first. Two out now. And here's Rios. One for one tonight with a single. Strike one. Fouls that one back. Took a mighty swing. 0-2. Laid off the two-seamer for ball one. Hits that one to the second baseman council. <coughs> Thrown out of first, and that's going to be <coughs> bottom of the second. Excuse me. Top of the third coming up. 7-8-9, part of the lineup for Wakefield. Yunol Escobar, that's his name. I don't know why my throat's congested. <clears throat> and you safe on that, of all things. Here's Council. Man on first, no outs. That's going to change right here. They get him there. Council safe at first. So still a man on first. One out, but it is the more dangerous runner. Fouled that back. Leduca could have had that. Is 0 1. Hit off the end of the bat. Two down. Top of the lineup again, Reed Johnson, 0 for 1. That was a weak pitch by Wakefield. It's going foul, thankfully. Foul that one back. 0 2 count now. Hits it hard, right to Ray Durham. That's the end of the inning. So they get an infield base hit for their second hit of the day. They're 0 for 2, we're still perfect 5 for 5. Bottom of third coming up, and speaking of 5, it's Mr. Ryan Braun leading off, and he's looking for that 50th home run. 1 for 1 with a double. And he hits that first pitch. Will that be it? It's going. There it is, number 50 on the season for Ryan Braun. 6 nothing ball game. It was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. And at this point in the season, this is what, not even the fifth. He's over a home run per game, and he sat out some games during the National, during Interleague. So Barry Bonds, your uh, record looks like it's in jeopardy. Here's your strike one to Mike Lowell. And he pulls that one well up in the zone. Is that one going to be out of there? It's going to be close. There it goes. Wasn't as close as I thought it'd be. Back-to-back -back solo shots for your Toronto Blue Jays. Seven, nothing ball game. That's his 34th on the season. Once again, another solo shot from Mike Lowell. 7-0. And they're keeping Subban in. I'm surprised. Check his pitch count. It's mid-50s in the third inning. Ball one to Luke Scott on the two-seamer. That was a weak pitch. That one's gone. Three straight home runs for your Toronto Blue Jays. Incredible. That one almost 400 feet. So, Luke Scott, he's hitting the cover off the ball lately. That's his third consecutive game with a solo shot. Four home runs in three games. 22nd on the season. Eight, nothing ball game. Finally going to take him out as ERA is just above eight. Here's our old friend Soria. Laduca leading off. One for one. Hits that one up the middle, past the pitcher, and he's got himself the second base hit of the night. They're going to just eye him there. Here's Granderson, 0 for 1. Strike one on the changeup. Hits that one. Is that going into the gap? Nope, the shift worked perfectly there. Granderson's the first out of the inning. Third time through the lineup already. Rich Aurelia, 0 for 2. Ball 1 on the changeup. Keep an eye over on first base. Leduca remaining. Rich Aurelia read that one. Caught by Teixeira. Almost tagged out Loduca, but he got back in time. Here's Durham, 0 for 1. Hat walked his last plate appearance. Takes strike 1.
And in that one in between, nope, caught by the shortstop Escobar. So they put an end to the bleeding there. We're still eight for nine. Three consecutive solo shots for your Toronto Blue Jays. Top of the fourth coming up. Wakefield, just take it easy. Hopefully he can go a complete game. Strike one. That's going for their third base hit. Darren Erstad to center field. Man on first, no outs. Here's Teixeira. For a guy in the three spot, you'd expect more than five home runs and 15 RBIs, but what do I know? Maybe he was a trade acquisition. That one's hit well into the gap as soon as I say it. Rios is running back. Rally it back. Rally it back. Men on second and third, no outs. Here's Dimitri Young. And a mistake, fouled it back. We got lucky there. 0-1-1. That's going to center field. That'll be at least one, maybe two. There goes the shutout. Still no outs. Men are on the corners. Here's Ryan Church. Foul that one way back. Fans going home with a souvenir. Strike one. And he's going to go home on that. Just run it out. Alrighty, that's two runs for them now. 8-2. I'll check his ERA. Still a mid four. Well, now it's slightly higher. Veritek to center field. Granderson is right there. Menor or main on first. Two outs. Here's Escobar. One for one tonight with a single. Strike one. Strike two. Foul it back. That's going into the stands as well. Let's try a curveball here, why not? And he was not expecting that. Wakefield's out of the inning, only two runs given up. Quality start still available. They're two for five, but we're still eight for nine. We are in full control of this ball game right here. There's Berkman. He's looking for that last RBI. He's at 99, Wayne Gretzky. There's ball one. Hits that one up in the zone. Is that gonna be it? There it is, another solo shot for your Toronto Blue Jays. Berkman is 41st on the season. 100 RBIs. This Toronto Blue Jays offense is no joke. Now, as we get one of those runs back, we can check the replay of that. That was way up in the zone. That's asking for trouble to a hitter like Berkman. Not quite to the stands out there, but it's over the wall, so who cares? There's Rios, one for two. Change up for ball one. Hits that one. That's going to dead center. Is that one out of there too? There it goes. Five solo shots for your Toronto Blue Jays. What is that? RBI number 86 on the season for Rios. 25th home run on the season. And we've reached double digits. We got the two runs back. And here's Ryan Braun looking for a cycle. 50 home runs. 111 RBIs. Takes a change up for strike one. Swinging at that change up for strike two. That's a mistake. That one's going to deep right. Caught at the warning track by Church. That almost could have been a double base hit, even a home run. Lowell one for one tonight with a solo shot. Walked his first plate appearance. And it's windy out there. Strike one. Missed that change up for strike two. Fastball will go by, one and two. That one's going to dead center. Is that over the head of Erstad? No, runs back and he got it. Two outs. Luke Scott, two for two with two home runs, four RBIs tonight. Took strike one. And he hits that one to dead center. That's got to be over the head of Erstad. Nope. Caught it again. So another two home runs for the Jays, Berkman and Rios. We're 10 for 11 in the game. Top of the fifth, leading off is Craig Council in the eighth spot. Wakefield just got his last, his first strike out of the game in the last inning to close it out. Council hits that to center field, gets himself a single. So a good runner on the bases, no outs. Here's Metcalf, keep an eye on a old Council there. 
Durham tags him out. Double play. That's what we needed. That was third time through the lineup. Reed Johnson leading off. Strike one. Hit off the end of the bat. Right to Durham, over to Berkman, and that's another 1-2-3 inning, technically. They get one more hit, nothing working of it. Bottom of the fifth coming up and leading off his R8 man, Paulo Duca. Two for two tonight. Soria's tired. Ball one up in the zone. Strike one. Ball two. Head in the count. Count is even. Two and two. Hits that one hard. Right to council. That's going to be the first out. Here's Granderson now. He is tired. He's 0 for 2, but you never know what's coming your way. Ball 1 on the fastball. That one, that has to be out of there. That was crushed. There it goes. Another solo shot for your Blue Jays. It's off the hotel out there. 29th home run on the season for Curtis Granderson. And he's 1 for 3 tonight. So many solo shots. Everyone's Mike Lowell today, apparently. It's February 11th, according to the score. It wants to get way too high in the zone. Holy moly, that was a moonshot. Yep. I was right below the, uh, what is presently the WestJet flight deck. When I went to my game, I was in, yeah, I was on par with that. Anyways, that one is gone now. Back-to-back -back solo shots. Richard really out with his fifth on the season. Almost went 400 feet. So I think only in our lineup, the only guys with single-digit home runs are Rich Aurelia, our leadoff man, and Paulo Duca, our catcher, who's batting eighth. Back-to-back -back solo shots. Are they going to keep Soria in? Because they got to know this game's a lost cause. If you want to win, don't go play in the Blue Jays. Yeah, he's out of there. Mid-eight ERA. Here's Tyler Walker. Here's Ray Durham. 0 for 2. Foul that one back. Strike one. Strike two, change up, 50-50 ball to knock our way. Weak pitch, that's going into the gap. That'll be extra bases. Game slowing down there. I guess it's giving Durham a bit of a head start to run. And he's got himself a double. So I believe every guy in our lineup has a hit now. And another replay they want to show us. Hey, the more the merrier. If we're playing well, we're going to keep seeing those. Berkman, he got his solo shot for the century mark. That one's going to deep left. Make it two in a row. That's a two-run shot for Lance Berkman. And another home run. 42nd on the season. He's eight behind Ryan Braun, but he's trying to keep pace. It's Valentine's Day, according to the... Holy moly, man. That was up to the level where I was sitting. Rios looking for a cycle. He's got the puller up. It's a single, the home run. He needs the double and the triple. Quickly a 2-0 count. 2-1. and 3-1. One. and one. Hits that one. That's going into the gap out there in center left. Erstad out of his reach. Run. Run, I think we got a chance. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, well, he did get the double. Three replays in a row, why not? What was he going to say? So, we might have had been able to get the triple there. Oh, yeah, we'll keep it uh right there. Now, here's Ryan Braun. I don't think that one's going to be out of there. It's probably off the wall, yep. Braun gets himself a single, but brings Rios home, 15-2. And here's Mike Lowell. Oh, that could be a double play, but they got to get in to field it. There it is there. Sidestep, double play to end the inning. So the bleeding finally gets put to a stop. Another five-run rally in the fifth for your Toronto Blue Jays. Top of the six, leading off is number two in the lineup and number two on the jersey, Darren Erstad. Two for two tonight. Strike one. Uh, 
over Durham's glove, and that's going to be three for three for Darren Erstad. Shame his rest of his team isn't performing. Here's Tixera, one for two with a double. Tick strike one. Ball did not go away. I think that was a fair call, though. Foul that one way back. I could have caught that where I'm sitting. Foul tip, and that's the first foul tip. Does that count as a strikeout, I wonder? Yes, it does. Strike one to Dimitri Young. I was a foul shallow part of the bat, but it's going to be out there. Throw it to third so he doesn't advance. Double play still in effect. It's Ryan Church. Ball one. That could have gone either way. Did not go our way. Pulls the heck out of that one. That's going to be trouble. Barely fair. We get one more run across. Our Wakefield, come on. Just get through. Strike one. Get through the six. The quality start still is available. Throw it home. He's safe. All right. It's only one more out. And Escobar Lowell. So he gave up one more run than he could have for the quality start, but hey, whatever. Let's keep letting him going. I think uh, just give her a bullpen a rest with the lead we have. Here's Scott, two for three with two homers, four RBIs tonight. Hits that one to deep left. Is that out of reach of the fielder? Barely got it right at the wall. That was a heck of a running play he had there. Walker's tired, facing Paulo Duca. Strike one. Strike two. Ball one. It's that one hard. Not past Tixera at first base. Steps on the bag. That's two out. Here's Granderson. One for three. You know what he's waiting on. That's gone. Second home run of the day for Granderson. And the Jays just keep piling it on. That was off the like third level out there. 30th home run on the season. He's in a new number bracket. He's in the 30s. 416. There have been a total of 20 runs scored tonight. 16 of which are for your Toronto Blue Jays. They're keeping Walker in. Rich really a 1 for 4 with a home run of his own. 35 RBIs. I believe he has as many RBIs as Loduca. He might end up getting one more there. Oh, that wasn't well hit, actually. That's Copper Reed Johnson for the out. So another run, thanks to Granderson, is across the plate. Top of the seventh, and it's the eight man Craig Council leading off, one for two. That one got away from him for ball one. That one got away from him again for strike one. Strike two. Let that one go by for ball two. Kind of is even a 2-2 to Craig Hansel. Pulls it. That's going to be the same kind of ball that was hit that brought in the last RBIs. It's going to be a man on second. Council's looking for a cycle now. Travis Metcalf cannot hit for power, but hits for a pop-up to Wakefield. And there we go. Out number one. Reed Johnson. 0 for 3 so far. Swinging at the knuckler for strike one. Hit hard. Stays fair. Step on the bag. Man on third. Two outs. Here's Erstad. Hit off the skinnier part of the bat. Durham. Got him out. Wakefield's through another inning. So seventh inning stretch finally. Let's have a bit of great good luck water, shall we? I mean, we don't really need it, but I think I could. my throat could use it. Much better. Yeah, so we are 16 for 18 tonight. That's incredible. I want to... Wakefield needs six more outs. I want to see him stay in this game. We only have six more outs for hitting. We got to remember that it's one, two, three strikes. You're out at the old ball game at the Rogers Center. Alrighty. Bottom of the seventh up. And it's Ray Durham. One for three. Got to walk into double. Keeping Walker in. Durham takes strike one. That one's way out of there. That got away from him. Make the count even at one. He's gassed. 
Durham pushes that ball. Is that over the head of Reed Johnson? Nope. Ran over and caught it. That's going to be it for Walker on the mound. Right before he faces Berkman looking for a cycle of his own. Borkowski, he's tired. He's got a Ben 10 average right on the dot. Takes a change up for ball one. Strike one on the curve. Strike two, curveball. That was perfect. Holy moly, he's tired and he pitched that gym. That's hit by Berkman. That's over the head of Erstad. Nope. Back to the warning track, but he got there nonetheless. And here's Rios. Strike one high up in the zone. Change up. Strike two. Rios pushes that one. Just caught by the second baseman council, and that's three up and three down for the Jays in the seventh. Top of the eighth, and it's the heart of the Angels lineup up now. One for three tonight. Mark Teixeira. Hit just skinnier part of the bat. Yeah, there's out number one. Demetri Young, two for three with two singles. Just below 300 average. Took a heck of a swing. That one's... Uh -oh. You know... Apparently the places to sit at Roger Center are either right behind home plate or like the third level. Or either catching foul backs or like grand slams. Anyways, Aurelia to Berkman for the second out. Here's Church. Has a sacrifice fly, but he's only one for two tonight with a double. Ball one. Strike one. Lowell over to Berkman, and that's three up and three down for Wakefield. They're four for ten, and we are 16 for 18. Braun is up. This will probably be his last time up. Let's see if he can get it. It's against Borkowski. Ball one, fastball. Ball two, curve. Both of those pitches are well inside. 50-50 ball. Could have been 3-0 and instead it's 2-1. and there's the three and one. He's gassed. Stayed in the zone. Payoff pitch to Ryan Braun. No outs in the bottom of the eighth. And he hits that one. Dive by Teixeira to save the hit. And he's out. So good outing by Borkowski, all things considered. Got his ERA down 10%. And there's Villanueva. Mike Lowell, one for three with the home run. Takes ball one there. I think that could have gone our way, but instead it's one and one. Hits that one hard. Is that past the shortstop? Yes, it is. I'm surprised that got past him. Mike Lowell looking for a cycle if it can get around to him two more times. Here's Scott, two for four with two home runs. Still four RBIs. That one was not well hit. Here we go. Now here's Paulo Duca. Two for four with two singles. And once again, that one he just got under two. Erstad's there. That's going to be the night of hitting for your Toronto Blue Jays. 16 for 19, though. Can't complain about that. Three outs away is Tim Wakefield from the complete game. Think if another guy gets in scoring position or he gives up a home run or something, I'll take him out. He's got to face off against his former teammate, Veritek, first. 50-50 ball, went for ball one. Just missed the sweet spot there. Rios runs back. Just catches it. One down. Zesco Bar, one for three. Strike one. Lined to right field. He's got himself his second hit of the night. Man on first. One out. Here's Craig Council looking for a cycle. Missed that knuckler for strike one. Weak pitch. Missed it. 0 and 2. Pulls that one. Is Rios going to run it down? Nope. Uh, who's up next? Metcalf. 0 for 3 with a double play. You can get him out, Wakefield. Oh, here we go. There's one. Oh, he tagged him out. It was Aaron throw, but he got him. That's the ball game. Complete game by Tim Wakefield by the narrowest of margins. And that's going to go ahead and be it for the game. 16-4 is your final.
We have to see all the home runs we hit, because it was unbelievable. Bottom of the first, that was bronze two RBI double. We thought, hey, that was already good enough. Shame Wakefield gave up, uh, like, the four runs and pairs of twos, but what can you do, right? Bottom of the fifth. Maybe that, that was that was Berkman. Yep, got that high with Durham on base. So we had two separate five-run rallies in the first and the fifth. Bottom of the sixth, that had to be Granderson. Pretty sure it was, yep. Top of the ninth, and that was the final play. And that was a heck of a final play, too. Just got him. Player of the game, Ryan Braun. I think you might have to give it to uh, Luke Scott here. He had four RBIs. He matched the Angels. And again, I don't know. We'll have to see total. Yeah, really, we hadn't beat after the first inning yet again. Well, already that's going to be it for the game. We'll have to, we have to take a look at all the home runs and the stat lines. We have to see what happened. Wakefield with his eighth win on the season. Zubon 2-5. and five. I mean, he gave up 5-on-5 five five in the first inning, so he was damned if he did, damned if he didn't. Richard Rillia had his fifth. Berkman had 41-42. and 42. Rios had 25. Braun had 50. Lowell had 34. Scott had 21 and 22. Grinderson had 29 and 30. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10 home runs by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different Blue Jays. Alrighty, well, stats. Yep, everyone got a hit. Home runs, yep, look at all that. So, so, Rio, yeah, so solo shots. So we know Scott had a solo shot. Lowell, Rios, Aurelia. Granderson had two. Then, uh, did Braun have a solo sh No, yeah, Braun had a single RBI. So yeah, so like, every, pretty much everyone got a solo shot except Luke Scott, I'm pretty sure. And Berkman had a a two-run shot. Got all the time. Everyone came across the plate once except Loduca. Then home runs. Bruns in a league of his own now. Berkman is in the 40s. Granderson. It's com now it's competition between Granderson and Lowell. Uh, I'd say Aurelia, Loduca, and why not Durham? He only has one more than Loduca. Then yeah, Rios and Luke Scott. Already at Wakefield, 75 pitches it took, four run runs, it's whatever. Alrighty. So that's gonna be it for the game. Take a look around the league now. Let's check how we did. The stamina went way up, that's good. 635 points. Uh, so, okay, Red, Red Sox won, Yankees won. But the Orioles lost, I don't see the race on here. Alrighty, well. That's going to be it for the series against the Los Angeles Angels, or Anaheim Angels. I don't know what the hell you want to call them. Now, we got a four-game homestand against the Kansas City Royals that we swept 3-0 at Kauffman Stadium last time. Looks like it's going to be Guthrie on the mound. We'll have to see who he's pitching against. We'll take another look before the start of the next video. I'll see you then for that game against Kansas City.